So in this video I want to show you how to disassemble a used laptop battery safely so that you can use the individual lithium, lithium so ion cells. You want to look around like... the edge of the battery pack and basically see if you can find some weak points. Now the cells when you look at this battery pack are going to be right here. So this spot right here uh, won't have any cells. This will probably be a circuit board where there's the charging circuitry. And so you want to pry in an area where you're not actually damaging or going to potentially um, gouge one of those cells. So I would start prying along this line. In fact, uh, near the charging jack is where I'm going to actually go after it. Okay, once you get a good wedge in there, you can kind of use your screwdriver, kind of like a lever, and kind of pry up. Now you don't want to, you don't want to poke in to this thing you want to keep your screwdriver along the edge and just kind of pry the edge up as you go. So we'll move it down a little bit farther. Get it in there. Kind of pry up on it. Okay, just so you can crack the top of that battery pack. And now I should be able to peel this back with my hands. You can see that we have our six individual lithium ion cells in here, and like I said, there's the, our, our circuit board, which is just our charging and protection circuitry. So the rest of this thing should just be uh, inside of there, maybe with a little bit of glue. Um, I'm going to try to just use my hands to flex this to pop those batteries out of there. There we go. So now we have our six individual cells. We can see they're connected to the circuit board and they're connected to one another. Um, when you're cutting wires or cutting strips, you want to make sure you're only cutting one wire or one strip at a time in case you accidentally cut through two wires where there'd be a short. And so I'm just going to separate these batteries one connection at a time with a good wire cutter. Now, since you're going to be wanting to get the individual cells so that you can test them and charge them and use them for a project, um, we want to separate all of these guys. And I found just the easiest thing to do is grab a needle nose pliers and kind of like insert it in between there, press down and kind of roll your needle nose pliers, you know, get it close to where the contact is and just kind of roll that off. And you can see it actually takes. Uh, this this metal, uh, there's it's spot welded there. It kind of takes it off pretty clean. So I'm going to take this over, bring it as close as I can to those spot welds, and just kind of roll the pliers or the battery. That one's not coming off quite so clean. So bend that up and try to roll it again. There we go. So there's one individual cell. And let me just finish taking the rest of these things off. Now, despite your best efforts, this one's pretty clean. There's still a tiny little bit of a spot weld left right there. And so one thing I've found, you want to do sparingly and only if necessary, but you can just use a Dremel tool with a grinding wheel on there uh, at decently high speed. Uh, and then I'm just going to kind of like turn this thing on and just briefly press it up there to kind of take off that little spot weld. Uh, you don't want to hold it on there for a long time because that's going to heat up the metal uh, and that could degrade your battery capacity and actually damage the battery. So you just you don't want to just grind against there because friction is going to create heat there. So you just want to do it quickly like this. See? Take that right off. 